Hi, I'm Selena for Who is Jesus Today? And let's have a little chat, okay, about how we use a language to distort truth and to present false uh, narratives when we want to um, play like there's, there's someone is against us for whatever a, a reason. I want to say to um to the world today I, I feel I can speak on behalf of uh, many many uh, people who believe in Jesus around the world I like to say that um, uh, regardless to your sexual orientation that is a, a very heated uh, topic today as well as the transgender community that we as people who are connected to Jesus okay based on the Bible that we are not a uh, haters of the transgender community and regardless of your sexual orientation and sexual expressions or what they call it uh, gender expressions but I guess it's it, it, it pretty much is, uh, correlates to the same uh, reference but I want to say this, that not agreeing with a person's lifestyle, and that is a chance, a, a gender, or anyone else, not being in agreement, not uh, accepting it um, as a behavior that you want to accept, it does not mean that you are against the person who practices this behavior that is a that's that's a wrong assessment or that is a false um, accusation in the in the sense that it is very possible to not be su in support of a practice or a belief system or a sexual orientation, sexual preference, however you, you want to say it, or lifestyle, and still not hate the individuals that practice behaviors that are different from yours or that you oppose based on one's personal convictions as well as spiritual convictions and also one's choice and taste. What is important is how we treat people who do not believe and think like us and who do not uh, uh, practice um, what we call to be the right way of doing things and for us who are Christians who believe in Jesus, we base our a, a world view and convictions on what the Bible says. But that does not equate to being a hater of those who uh, practice um, uh, different types of lifestyles, who in, engage in activities that oppose what we believe as being righteous, it still does not equate for, uh, to being a hater of those individuals holding any animosity towards them or wishing them harm. You do not have to agree with everything to try and prove that you are not a, a hater, that you're not biased. I mean, you just don't have to. I mean, it's like for me, I am really into coffee, okay? I know what I like, and, and no one can hardly ever uh, persuade me to, to take what I don't like when it comes to coffee. You want me to describe it? I love dark roast that has a rich and either a smoky, um, kind of a a cocoa taste sometimes but not always but I do like a coffee to be one a dark 
and smokyish. <laughs> That's the, the word I'm using. That's why I'm a big fan of, of French roast, okay, and dark Italian. I don't care as much for Sumatra, although you can get that dark, but to me, a Sumatra has kind of an acidy taste. I don't like a coffee where I can taste a lot of the acid. I was just very uh, specific about what I like in coffee. I am not opposed to uh, anyone else who really advocates against what I am saying. Like, no, you don't really have real coffee unless it is medium roast or light, you see. And, and so, you know, um, I know this is probably, this is not going to be as much of an, a sensitive or emotional uh, issue as a sexual orientation. But still, I'm just, and it's probably is not the best analogy. But at the same time, people have a right to also reject the things that we think are right for us and that we want to do at that time in our lives without being having to be accused of being against us or haters. You can be against a person's behavior practices and you could not be in support of their sexual choices will still not hate the person or want any harm of for them. In fact, you want to pray for them and that their lives will be embraced and impact by Jesus. Because as I say on, on this channel, Jesus came for the sick. That's all of us. So, a heterosexuals, homosexuals, put your name on that list. From every creed, tribe, and nation, put your name on that list. Okay? Jesus knows how to deal with all of us in the areas that we need to be uh, dealt with. Okay? That's not for me to uh, transform a person's heart and mind. I don't have the power to do that, but I hope to be able to influence them to want to be transformed and to be changed by the power of God. So this needs to be really uh, clarified, I feel, because, you know, I did my uh, school a background a lot in language and I've seen how words are used and uh, played with and how I mean if you use certain words uh, of the wrong way you can almost you know start a war just because of miscommunication misinterpretations we know that in the Christian uh, community don't we and how off uh, people can go so, um, I just want to say, no, not agreeing and accepting it as our norm doesn't mean it's hatred. And standing up and representing what you feel and believe is your God-given right, the same way those who oppose you feel they have the same right to say what they want to think and believe. That's what happens if we're going to call it this, this kind of free uh, a democracy, a society, right? Yeah, that's what comes with the package of freedom is that often you have a, a whole lot of people too that are uh, moving in a persuasion of thinking and doctrine and sexual uh, practices that you don't uphold, that you don't agree with. And at the, at the same time, if you want your freedom, they do have theirs as well, right? But when someone disagrees, right, it's like it's on the weaker end where they're going to think that because you don't accept it and agree, now you are a hater or you are against me. Uh, as, a, as a person. No, I can be against one's actions and behavior without being against them. I would have a classroom of 20 uh, students. In my heart, I am called to uh, care for and to respect all of these kids and to treat them uh, equally, even the ones that give you a lot of trouble. But see, here's the thing. 
Some may be harder to manage than others, but they have to all be treated equally because each one is your student and they're in your care. And for the ones that have a behavior that really get you upset and it's hard for you to tolerate it, you still have a standard to maintain is this child must be taken care of and respected and you have to deal with their behavior and you have to come against that behavior but not against the student. So there is such a thing of separating behavior and choices that are not your preference and that go against your spiritual convictions without being against the individuals and trying to cause them trouble. That is just the truth, not just I'm speaking from my own heart, but I believe that uh, represents a lot of people today. And that is the a climate that um, we are uh, trying to uh, represent, okay? We don't have to be for everything you do and practice in your home, in your bedroom, but that doesn't mean that we are against you as a person. Just like us, created in the image of God, uh, breathing the same air, <laughs> the same toxic polluted air, right? We all do that equally. And yeah, and uh, Jesus died for all of us. When it comes to, to that, I, I says, you know, no one's exempt. Okay? So, I'm just stating a position today. And that's all I have to say. You can like and subscribe if you feel led. We will meet again on this channel. Shalom.